Hello, hello my darling friends, how are you today? Are you ready for some mixed media fun? Are you ready for some canvas? We're gonna do some mixed media canvas tonight. Um, you've been asking for another canvas and another canvas, it's never enough for you. So I thought, yeah, let's do something because I know you would love one. And me too, actually. I uh, Last year I've done very little or none and now I am really into canvases as well, back to it. I I think I just had too much, you know. I just really think I had enough of uh, very heavy works projects, which now I'm really enjoying it. So, I got those gorgeous canvases last week, and look at them. I love them because they are very thick, so they are perfect for shadow boxes as well. I uh, usually canvases like that are very expensive, and I paid for those fiver, five euro dollar wise. Um, it is maybe six dollars or something like that so really I think I find it pretty good deal to be honest now which size we're gonna use today I would love to use this uh, frame this is a uh, prima all this kind of um, resin frame because I have never used those or I did I I don't think I did and I they just I feel that they are waiting <laughs> for me to be used so I think it's time to that and I'm not too sure which size definitely not the biggest one I'm not feeling for, for the biggest size then if I'll do oh maybe like this because I thought that either I go for the middle singular like this which would be cute and we could make things around it or we could just go a little bit crazy here and go for the two Hmm, that could be interesting, but no, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with this one, with the smaller size. Um, yes, I think so. I'm gonna put this one back. This could be used on a smaller canvas, even smaller than this one, or even card. So cute little pieces, isn't it? I think so. Okay, I also gathered some lace because uh, I haven't used lace on mixed media projects for ages, forever. And I have this vision of making it very textury, very like beautiful, and yes. <laughs> I also feel that it would be so amazing if we could use a little bit of cardboard so that it's more, um, I don't know, just, you know, just a little bit more um, recyclable project, if it's possible, if it's good. Wow, starting to look good. And I have no plan here, as in, well, beside what I have here on the desk. And we could... I already love it, like, we could start adding those beautiful leaves around that. All those laces are in the store if you wish to check it, of course. I have them for sale for ages, tons of you have bought it, so thank you so much. But I haven't used them much, so I felt it's not fair, Marta, <laughs> you have to start using them so others can get some inspiration from you. So that's what I'm thinking today. Do a little bit of flowers and things and also I was thinking to use some of those which are art stones like uh, 3D balls and those are from Power Text, but you can get those similar from Prima and um, uh, there's tons of them around um, so no stress there. Um, I think we just, I'm just gonna get my uh, gel medium where is it? Where are you? <laughs> Back to you. I have my gel medium, so let's just start adding things to our canvas. So I'm gonna start off by just applying some gel medium. Actually, I should apply it directly on the cardboard so I know how much and where to put the gel medium. There we go. Canvases seems to be very popular, mixed media canvases, a lot, a lot. And I guess I kind of went into art journaling more because I feel I can fit them better in my studio, simply in the book, each project. So I think with canvases it's great for a prop, for a gift, for a present, for someone. But if you do it just for yourself, it starts to be hard to hold them, you know, to store them. So, But someone suggested recently that I should sell them or... Someone 
someone else said, which I I found interesting comment. Um, the, oh, that someone said that oh, some people may want to have your projects, original projects, which I believe possibly. But also someone said that the auction could be nice. Like let's say I put a photo on my Facebook, and auction will start from I don't know from two euro or something like that, and people can bid on it and decide. Um, if someone wants to purchase it, something like this, I, I, I think it could be interesting, <laughs> you know. Um, okay, so we have that. Now I think it would be nice to put this back again, just to see the um, shape-wise where this could be. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit lower like this. Maybe. Oh, like that maybe. Mm-hmm. So we have just the heaviness there, more than anything. Okay. Yes, yeah, so what will I do? I'm just gonna go over here. Oops, that's okay. Go over here. Hannah is asleep all night. Didn't wake up yet. She does wake up, obviously, still <laughs> from time to time. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but this night nothing yet, which is wow, <laughs> which is wow. So, yes, there we go. Now, some elements are gonna go on top of that, so let's not stress over having it so perfectly glue it down. So, perfectly glue it down. I don't know how this meant to be. Was it like this? Probably like this, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And this, I don't know now. Here and there. Like that. Mm -hmm. I'll get some gel medium here. And maybe a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. So everything is in one place. There we go. I think I need a little bit more of that. There we go. I think even more there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Nice one. So that's what we have. But before I add this, I can maybe um, add some, some of those in places but actually no it's good to know where to add it so okay something like that <laughs> I like the corrated cardboard is that is that the name I like that very much I think it's a nice you can get a cardboard everyone has cardboard like and it's inexpensive thing to build your project on I think it's pretty cool pretty pretty nice so I think what I'm gonna do is I will create this. Um, I will create this uh, and go to sleep. Uh, well, not to sleep, but I'm gonna add all the elements and leave it to dry till tomorrow. And instead of going to sleep yet, I'm gonna make a simpler project, maybe or start another one. I don't know, but I won't be waiting for it to dry because it will take forever. Okay, maybe a little bit up high there so that my oh nice I love that it starts to looking really really well really really nice I have so many emails and messages to reply sometimes it's overwhelming and it's easier to just go to craft room and craft because there's so many to reply that I just don't know where to begin and it's it's hard you know sometimes it's really 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 hard and you don't want to disappoint anyone, but it's like so much, so many happening. Oh wow, I just love that now. I really, really love that. And I'm glad I'm using my old gel medium. I'm trying to reuse everything that I have now. <laughs> kind of my new resolution. A resolution. Resolution, yeah. <laughs> okay. I love that there, actually. So I'm gonna have it there. Mm hmm Why not? Maybe like this. Mm hmm Nice. 
Nice. It's nearly one o'clock. Lucas is still at work. I think I'm gonna wait for him like last time when I was recording and he was working till late night. I think I went to bed at 3 and he came like 10 past 3 so I fell asleep before. <laughs> so mm, that kind of way. Wow this could be really cute. Really 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 cute. Yes I'm gonna add it there as well. Why not? You can use any um, lace you have. I'm sure you have tons of lace and some um, things that can be textury enough for you to use it you know I'm not too sure why I was so worried about things sticking out outside the canvas because it's it's nice <laughs> things are standing out the canvas anyway hmm anyway what is the story there do we need this there no I think it's just nice to leave that cor corrugated cardboard okay I think it's enough guys I really believe that so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna get a lot of gel medium now and I'm gonna add it around everywhere so it's nice and thick and a lot of glue it's and um, I'm using gel medium 3d gel medium heavy body gel medium any gel medium would work not any light gel medium probably difficult but any heavy body 3d gel medium would do the magic for you guys okay I love that now maybe a bit on the side <laughs> Marta yes well done on being perfectionist here oh well that's what it is that's what it is <laughs> even this I need to clean like okay I love that very much Marta well done <laughs> now let's add some of the texture here and I'm thinking to just get a bunch of a bunch of gel medium like here and there like a lot you know like here and there a lot of gel medium I guess and maybe like here as well a lot a lot and I'm gonna leave this to dry for tomorrow guys I won't be bothering too much with it now I just hope that this will nicely dry uh, so I'm trying to kind of make my canvas being together <laughs> with the rest of the world that makes any sense a generous amount of a generous amount of gel medium here guys a generous amount mm -hmm. I think maybe even adding touches of something here could be nice like a little bit even here just a little bit there Okay, now let's do that. Um, let me get my funnel. Oops, my funnel, funnel. <laughs> so that will be. Oops, I didn't uh, get rid of those wooden elements. <gasps> oh no, Hannah, I'll be back. <laughs> Can you hear her? My poor baby, I'll be back. Will this be dry by the time I'll be back? Possibly. Let me just quickly, quickly add. <gasps> Oops. <sighs> that was too much on that. Okay. And the middle part, the middle one. What a timing, Hannah. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gone. Okay, I'm back to you. I was just thinking when, when I went to to feed Hannah that it's I'm kind of putting myself out there. Uh, honestly, to you, you may say, "Oh, what a mother! She she 
she put the project ahead of her. It's not this. I have like no gel medium <laughs> left. If this dries out, oh actually partially I didn't cover everything. If this dries out it will be very difficult for me to <laughs> to do uh, something else, you know. So it's just uh, I don't want you to feel in any way that I'm putting my um, the project ahead in front before my 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 family my life no just it, you know it just i shouldn't be even explaining myself but i just feel i should just in case someone will take get this bad um this bad feeling about me because it's not like that i usually go <laughs> but the gel medium was there like okay how can i clean it now there's so much of that uh, um but before I'll do it, you know what, I'm gonna like squish that into it like as much as I can in those places. Am I recording? I am. It will be amazing, I can see. But a lot of that is gonna fall off. A lot, a lot. It's gonna fall off now and tomorrow. <laughs> but before that, I need to still clean it off. I need some bigger paper. I don't want my every, everywhere to have them balls so I have this envelope and I'm gonna just get oh, oops <laughs> I'm just gonna get the project inside there and hopefully this will help me to just get a lot of things out haha <laughs> that's pretty clever isn't it? Wow, that's pretty clever. And I'm going to put back everything to the box uh, and use it for another project, of course. Oh, smart. Pretty much. Wow, a lot went, went in, like, a lot. Okay, so it would be great, let me just have a think, it would be great if we could run with our gel medium gently like here and there like you know it is what it is but if we would have some more gel medium on top it would just help basically to to have all of that stock you know rather than waking up tomorrow morning that everything is gonna be gone from our canvas so mm. Maybe I just gonna do it like that and not really. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Because I feel if I leave too much nut glue down, it will. I know I've done projects like that before and I had plenty falling the next day and I wish to kind of avoid this if it's possible, you know? So. Ah, this noise, I just don't like it. <laughs> this noise, that's okay. So I'm just trying to fill in all those bubbles, all those stonies with a lot of gel medium. And just to make sure that it's gonna hold, basically. It's gonna hold, there we go, as much as it's possible, you know? There we go. Yes, that's good. That works great now. Even more gel medium. If I have any left, I do. Super. Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of them tomorrow definitely staying on. That's what I would like. So we need a little bit more of that. Very pretty. Very pretty you are my canvas, my dear canvas, okay when everything will be covered with color it's gonna be looking even different so relax relax <laughs> always everything looks I'm looking always everything, oh you can see my t-shirt I have another it's not my t-shirt, it's my pyjamas hi <laughs> this is lady and the trump trump, trump. I love Disney movies. I'm not crazy about them, but I love clothes with them actually, you know. 
childish, I know. But I think the older I get, the more childish I become. Or maybe I'm just trying to keep the spirit or something. Well, Hannah definitely made us feel younger when you have to run after such a little chicken. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, but... <laughs> It's it's a good thing, but it's also a very tiring thing herself, you know? So... Wow! I like that! A lot of good things are happening here now. It's very mucky, but it's good because it's gonna last till tomorrow. It, not on, yeah, it will hold and it will last forever and tomorrow it's gonna be nothing, it's gonna be falling down we don't want things to fall down you know so I'm mixing and matching elements now together so they would stick nicely mm -hmm. even more gel medium I need I feel do I have I have some gel medium here oh I do okay but last time I've used it it was a lot of it dry so I was just worried to, that this is dry maybe I was just touching it in the wrong spot the dry spot or something yeah it is a bit dry that's okay that's okay I guess mm -hmm. wow it's so refreshing because I haven't <laughs> craft in this mixed media ha heavy body gel medium art stones for ages <laughs> so it feels very good very nice like that mm. we have a lot of gel medium now which is great some elements of stones are gonna be here that's okay too you know <clears throat> So we have like everything nicely connected, if you will have a look, we have um, we have our cardboard nicely joined in there and we have our lace, all kind of everything is one happy family. That's how I like to call those things, okay. I like that, I love that. Now, question is... There we go. Do we take this a little bit and just go to a few places? Possibly, it's a good idea. Just go into a few spots where there is more gel medium than 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 um, what you call it. There we go. More gel medium than the stones itself. So lovely. That's a good idea, I think. That's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> okay. probably could use some of that from <laughs> here if I was on the off camera I'm sorry I just sometimes am off camera and that's it hard to change me <laughs> wow it's so beautiful wow absolutely love this two bits love 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 it and I think I don't want to add any more of those stones because it's going to be too crowded, too stony, too, too kind of texture. Okay, I'm going to leave that, guys, till tomorrow or next week or whenever I'm, <laughs> whenever I'm able to find some free time to finish up this project because um, we need to color it, we need to add some more things, obviously some focal points, something, some title maybe flowers maybe I don't know um yeah I love that so I hope you do too okay till the next time see you soon <laughs> see you shortly <laughs>
Hello, hello everyone. I'm back to you after, oh wow, is it a week or two or even three? And this is waiting in the room to be finished, to be gessoed. So this is where I'm gonna start. I have no idea what I was talking to you about in this video. <laughs> I hope you don't mind that. But I got so many other projects in the way that I basically had to put some other projects uh, aside. One of them is, uh, one of those is this one. But that's okay. Look, we finished. Uh, we will finish this we just have to color it I believe <laughs> so that's that's what I would usually do so I'm coloring it white and then priming everything and then we will concentrate on finished color and decide what kind of actually color we're gonna go for I feel for some what for pinks maybe for blues purples i don't know i'm gonna go in around my studio and see what i can find what is gonna talk to me kind of you know this kind of way uh as i said i have so many videos in the pipeline is that what you say waiting to be recorded or they are recorded they're waiting to be edited and now i even know better because um why by the time you're watching this video i could be uh, it could be christmas time i have no idea when you're gonna watch it because I'm recording ahead. I'm such a mixture between Christmas videos, finishing all their videos like this one and I also, uh, we are away, which we haven't planned. We haven't planned to go Christmas to Poland, which I'm so happy. And as I said, by the time you're watching this, it's very possible we are not even home. <laughs> so everything is all over the place with our plans because we haven't planned that. I just said, Lucas, why don't we just go? Why don't we just close everything, close behind doors behind us and let's just go make a huge surprise to our family and let's just go and that's what we did we booked the tickets same day when I said it and yeah so now I'm catching up it's a uh, six weeks till we go which is in a way small amount of time and we are gonna go for three weeks which is huge I think we always try to go for two three weeks because we're going to two different ends of Poland you see and it's very hard to have enough time for everyone so it's easier to just go for longer time than speeding up here and there and jumping from one place to another and it's very annoying and you know you don't want to be rushing on your holidays it's not a proper holidays when you are visiting your relatives you know yourself it's not like going to Spain let's say lying down on the beach for a week having all-inclusive meals not that I've ever done any any video any <laughs> holidays like that I wish someday maybe but yes visiting relatives it's not uh, a pure holidays not at all but it is our holiday that's our choice we always choosing to see our families especially now that Hannah is so small uh, Emily's also will have a different kind of memories from visit like that so um, we are gonna be that long that I need to have enough to record for you enough to show you what I'm in while I'm in Poland uh, I will be of course recording vlogs Christmas videos because you need to see beautiful Poland in winter time and since uh, myself I will enjoy it hugely because I didn't go to Poland in winter in 14 years I haven't been in Chris on Christmas ever since I live in Ireland so it's gonna be extremely um, stressful in a way because uh, what to pack in winter time so many of us but we book extra suitcases I said Lucas please I don't want to be stressed that I cannot fit those shoes or that jacket I, th I said winter time everything is heavy big because you never know what the weather I said look we just have to get on with the extra little pound being spent, euros, dollars, whatever you say, and have freedom of choice of what I want to wear, what I want to pack, some gifts. It's Christmas time eventually, so at the end of the day, so we need some gifts for everyone, even small souvenirs for that amount of people <laughs> on both sides. You know, it's it's even if you get a socks for each person in the family, pair of socks, which is one of the plans that I have. I think it's a cute idea. Why not? Um, Socks and pyjamas, that's what I'm thinking. Like some nice gift set. We need space in the suitcases for that. And you may say, oh, why don't you buy something in Poland? Well, no, I don't want to buy anything in Poland because I really would love things to be, you know, to be purchased here, so a souvenir from here. So, I love what I see. I hope you do too. 
and I hope to finish that today. Hannah is asleep. We are going to run to school today. It's Saturday, but there is a um, principal, principal, principal is uh, finishing. The principal have changed name in school, so we are saying goodbye to the old one. A lovely, lovely lady. I made the book. So either the, the book is already on the channel or not yet. The book um, that I made for her, for people to write it down, wishes for her, like a goodbye book or whatever you call this kind of book. Memory book, I don't know. Uh, wishes book. So the video will be, or there is, or it will be. If it will be, um... Already by the time you're watching this, I will link it to you, of course, at the end of this video. But the book is so gorgeous. I mean, seriously, it's probably, and I mean it, one of my nicest books I've ever done. Uh, and I, I really, really do mean it. It is gorgeous, so gorgeous. So okay, I have no plan for this particular uh, project. What to do next? We have to think about it. Let's try that back to you everything is kind of semi dry let's call it and i'm gonna take my brush and i was thinking it would be so nice to maybe use this paint that i was sent by one of you for the challenge it's the acrylic paint holcroft holcroft professional artist acrylic with sundays it's from australia so i would love to use that oh no where did you go that's okay well we can start then so there so <laughs> so i'm gonna just go it's still probably wettish so it's gonna be gently um it's gonna be gently moving the white and the teal one that's okay i think it's such a gorgeous 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 color so let's use that beautiful color. It's acrylic, so it will um, it will um, dry pretty fast. You have to know that. So if you're washing with color mixture, then make it fast. Now I have a little bit of white here going on. That's the I'm just trying to have this moving together now. A little bit of white with this color. That's gorgeous. Now I have this vision of using those colors as well I don't know how good or bad will this be but I'm tempted to try oh, look at that mixture that could be so pretty pastel oh now I know what I would like a pastel kind of feel for this project sure why not um what else is pastel here on my desk actually I have this cream which uh, probably won't work Ah, come on. Okay, it doesn't work. I have the cinnamon color. Oh, pretty, pretty. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Now, let me see. I would nearly leave it as it is, isn't it? It's so gorgeous. A little bit more of that teal. This is my main color. I would love this to be my main color and not get lost anywhere in the action so so even if I'm gonna add some even if I'm gonna add some other colors I still would love my teal to be my main color well at least that's for now the plan <laughs> okay you can always uh, water things down and you can always, you know, loosen up and stuff. So no stress there. I love that. Looking very pretty. So I'm going to actually go over here as well and add some more teal. You know, when you color your project, it's a, it's a trial and error situation really. So that color is just unbelievable pretty I have to say what's the shade it's in pasta uh, color do we have a name for this color white Sundays whether it's a color name waterproof permanent flexible light fast wow I don't have a name for that color hmm interesting I wonder other colors from that brand must be so pretty if they have such a delicate lovely uh, blue teal other colors imagine other colors from this brand would be so pretty to have all the pastelish color beautiful beautiful I really really like that now let me just 
go it go around with it a little bit there we go just a little bit so nice Emily is eating her soup, her lunch, her soup, so that she can run to the school, wait for me there, while I wait for Hannah to wake up, and then we go together quickly, and then we come back together. She needs to give the book to to parents, to teachers, so they can give it to the to the, to the parents and teachers to to write it down wishes in that book. So yeah. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> That's the plan. Uh, we have some cream here. Let's see. What's this? Oh, I hate when they um, they clogging those colors and you cannot really do much. And I don't know if this is a good choice of color. Let's. Oh uh, no. Do you know what? I'm gonna skip it. Just in case, I'm gonna skip it. A little bit of there because I can still mix it with this teal, and I think it'd be just nice. That purple is gorgeous, so it can stay, and it's beautiful, but I'm missing one color, but maybe it's this dark color from Tim Holtz, so let's see. Yeah, exactly, so I was thinking not to really, um, not to really spray directly, but kind of go with it. Um, let me get some of the brush, maybe that will be faster, to add some black in the grooves actually not everywhere no not at all but in some oh, in some places oh I like that very much this darker going in between the grooves of our project especially around the circle isn't it that would be nice so we have this gorgeous teal gorgeous bright colors pastel with the black finish interesting interesting I guess uh, once everything is dry, I'm gonna add up some white as well, because so, that will finish it finish it nice. I don't feel this black is strong enough, but that could be only my feeling. I don't know. I just don't feel. I don't know. I I cannot even explain what I mean by saying that it's not strong enough. But maybe I should dry it and then come back to the subject and redo it or something so maybe that's what I'm gonna do uh, let's try that now back to you uh, things are slightly dry but I'm gonna chance it and see about this black color which is just a simple watercolor I just want to see if I will feel anyhow better about the color spreading here and I don't know let's just see maybe it's just my kind of silly silly vision or whatever um, well everything will be dry afterwards and we will add some white gesso still on top of that so really technically it's not going to be that visible but yeah Hannah is asleep I wonder for how long she's going to be asleep but that's why Emily goes to, will go to school without me and then I'm going to join her with Hannah because Hannah does need her sleep so like every baby isn't it needs the sleep proper sleep no oh, wow. hi hello you like it yes not too bad isn't it not too bad those are my favorite colors are they blue ish teal and kind of a violet purple. Norwegian. I love that's, those. That's nice to and know. Pastel as well, so <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm just trying to kind of break those two colors, but ah, this cream does not want to move. Okay, I found a different cream, so it kind of. Hopefully lighten up uh, and it things like I don't know like kind of break the color schemes. Let's see, just a little bit so that teal is not that tealish only. Anyway, let's dry that. Back to you again. <laughs> we have our project mm, semi dry again. Semi dry. Let's see. I'm gonna get some brush. Now definitely watercolor will react with your gesso. 
So start from the brightest, like here, brightest, to flick your pe uh, brush to brighten up everything if you wish, to brighten up some elements, some parts of that canvas. And I'm gonna do that here. Now lots of elements will fall off because, yeah, because they will. That's how it works. And be prepared that you're gonna dirty your, dirty your um, brush. So I'm starting where some colors are, they don't have that much black in them. So, and I'm trying not to touch the actual, only the top parts, not the actual, not going in deep, but like horizontal kind of, not vertical. There we go. <clears throat> Same for here, so I'm exaggerating with the amount of gesso so that you can see we have some elements standing out more like the 3d balls they do stand out more and make sure that you dry your canvas properly before you start gessoing because otherwise you're gonna have a bit of a mock I guess a bit of a mock so you don't want that so make sure you dry your canvas properly all the colors I think I did uh, pretty well with drawing because I don't have any contamination with the color. Anyway, I'm going to leave it now and dry this and come back to you. Just letting you know off camera, I kind of sprayed a bit more white there because I felt that this black line here just didn't match the whole kind of nice composition going on here. So I just sprayed some white here and there just for contrast and for kind of balance at the same time. Yeah, just so you know. <laughs> back to drawing. Hello, hello, I'm back to you after a good few hours. Hannah is still asleep. I was doing something else and this is dry already. <laughs> and I didn't go to school yet. Emily is gone. I'm still here. I don't know if I should wake this Molly, but I think I'm not going to make it to school today since she is still asleep. And if she, oh, But then if I won't wake her up... Now, I do have to wake her up whether we go to school or not because she needs to eat something. It's so late that she only had breakfast and a little snacky thing before she's gone. So I have to wake her up. But I just won't go to school, I guess, sadly. Or maybe we go for like <laughs> 10 minutes to have a cup of, cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something. Hmm. I didn't expect this to happen at all. So I was busy on the computer while this was happily drying and you know what, I'm thinking that this could be such a perfect winter project. So I'm gonna add some winterish elements to it. Why not? Since it's Christmas time coming, it's winter time coming for most of us, depending where you, where you are in the world. So I hope you like that because I think it's so beautiful. I love it, love it. And it's very frozenish. The more of <laughs> gesso I add, the more frozen it looks to me and I just love it. So I think finishing that with some winter wonderland element could be nice. I didn't plan it this way, but I think it will be just perfect. So yes, let me show you what I was thinking. I'm gonna put this to water now and I'll show you my ideas. I have this kit in my store, which by the time you're watching this video could be sold out. I don't know. I cannot tell you now. I'm, war I'm, I'm recording ahead. There was a limited amount of those sets. If this one is gone, check the store because I will be getting uh, sets to the store. I will be getting new products, but uh, definitely I'm going to be selling my older stash as well in the next copy coming weeks. Mystery kind of stash. That's what I probably call it or mystery envelope something like that because I have things from my classes when I was traveling from online classes from uh, double the things I a lot of times buy more than I should so really I'd be selling those in a mixture bags of things or envelopes or whichever so part of that uh, kit that winter mr. winter kit is those papers beautiful beautiful papers we have papers like that we have decoupage papers rice papers so I'll be using them in the next coming uh, days for my winter Christmas videos card making probably as well some decoupage there are some flowers as well there are some um, 
papers are exactly the same in every kit, but color-wise they could be different flowers to each other, something like that. There are flowers, there are some little embellishments, so yeah, have a look. But look at that, color-wise, I was thinking that this paper works, let me just get that off me, put this away. Like, these would be so perfect, like this color, you know, this reindeer thing, this smaller one, and just so, I'm going to fussy cut some of them, some leaves as well. I think if we do a cluster, it could be just amazing, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to come back to you in just a second. And if you're wondering, we do ship from our shop worldwide, so whether it's a kit or whether it's my stencils, my papers, and new product, which is stamps, I'm saying that, but I'm not too sure if it's in the shop. If not, watch the space, because stamps are coming. I have stamps at home, but just didn't have time yet. Now, at this moment, they're not in the shop, because I didn't have time to put it in the shop. Um, yes, I'm sorry I'm complaining about lack of time, but really, it is... I think the Maremi's company now grew to the point of business, the way that I should get some help, but it's not that easy to... Like, who else could could do things for me, with me, like reply to your comments, to your emails, it's me that I have to do it, so small things and that's why it takes a little bit more time and I'm a little bit slip time with this, a little bit with that, I'm okay with it as long as you are okay with it, so I'm gonna fussy cut that, plus I really want to spoil you and have not a video once a week but have every second day a video and that takes a lot to record, to plan, to edit, to upload, to share and you know the process of videoing it's itself it's very busy and then products packing shipping <laughs> and yeah i'm not complaining i just hope you don't you you don't you're not angry that i i, I say that i really didn't have time because i feel i didn't have time oh i hear my computer even rumbling now anyway fussy cutting time and i'm gonna go and wake up hannah actually Hello, hello, look what I have. I fussy cut all these little elements and I'm gonna be putting them here and there just to see. Hello, hello. Oh, these are gonna be really nice and I think it's gonna be matching so pretty and cutesy. Wow, I like that. I, th I think the little intruder came in. Hi. 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 How are ya? Are you good? Are you happy? Hannah, are you happy? <laughs> yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Who's that? This. This? What would you like? This? Would you like this? Okay. We have to go now. I'm just gonna leave this for when you go to sleep. Yeah? Are you tired? Mm -hmm. We go to sleep? Mm -hmm. You wanna say hi? Look, you can say here. No, you can say here. Hi. Yeah? No, they can't see you there. Exactly! Hi! <laughs> say hi! Say hi! No, it's gonna be hard. Oh, stop! I'm gonna, you're gonna pull this. Okay, we go. Say bye! No? No. No, no you want to stay. We'll be back later. Good morning, good morning and Sunday morning. Uh, this video seems to be recorded in few uh, goes yet again. That's what recently happens. I have those gorgeous fussy cut elements uh, from the set and actually those papers if you're wondering, those are AB Studio. And I have some gorgeous um, shiny stuff, some sequins and some other things. So I thought, hmm, this could be nice. Now the idea is to actually build a composition from those elements, from those leaves, and berries and all so it's all very nice and Christmassy and I never knew how uh, this is actually matching and how this looks wintery and very color wise it just perfect like okay so wh where do we begin I think that this could be somewhere together um, maybe like that I don't know something along these lines. Um, you know what, I'm gonna start gluing down. It will be much easier then to have a look at what goes where. Okay, Hannah has her nappy being changed now. <laughs> so you may hear some noises, not noises, voices. Yeah, noises, I guess. <laughs> then we have a little building and she's trying to enter the studio since I came in here. So, 
you may hear her again from being unhappy that she cannot enter the studio today because I was tidying up before I started recording a little bit so yeah she's trying to <laughs> come in uh, and I have this gorgeous reindeer that I think is just beautiful and, and complement everything here it's a little bit magical isn't it Myster mystical magical I guess very pretty Yes, sorry for the little the little one trying to mm -hmm, trying to come in and <laughs> dad is saying no to her. She is a little rascal, I must say. Like all of them kids, isn't it? That's what they are, that's what they do. Now, I think I'm gonna <clears throat> I did it like that. Hi Ami. Every children. Every children. You too. Sure. <laughs> You're not Hi. different. Everyone is, you know, Hello, kids are everyone. kids. Good morning, baby. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great, actually. The project is looking very good. Thank you. I love it. I think it's nice. I agree. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm cutting the... Oh no. Amy. I knew it, it's going to be causing a little bit of unhappiness, you being here, Emmy. <laughs> hey, Emmy. <laughs> Actually, Hannah squashed my elements yesterday she, when I was fussy cutting them at one point. So, things may be a little bit squished, squished, squishy squashed. I love it. It's so beautiful, wintry and all. It's just stunning. Everything just works so nicely together. I haven't, I haven't seen it, you know, coming. <laughs> oh, maybe there would be nice. Actually, yes. Now I was thinking to also add some sequins, some blink, and that blink reminds me of my friend Nunu, Nuneka, because she loves adding all kinds of blinks to her projects. I have to say, and she's fabulous at it. So, no, no, the bling is for you this time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> where else can we add the <clears throat> gorgeously? Sorry for my voice and all, because it's an early morning. For, well, it's not that early, actually. I shouldn't say it's early morning. <laughs> it's not. But uh, my voice just didn't wake up yet, I guess. Everyone's voice in the morning is just funny, isn't it? Hannah is chatting so much and she has so many words now. She was saying uh, sentences of three words today. Can you imagine? She's only 21 months old. I think it's pretty fast to be talking like, you know, sentence uh, from three, three words. Wow. So we were gobsmacked in the morning today when she started saying, she said wadi, which is water. Wadi is a joint word from water and voda, which is Polish. Voda and water is wadi for her. So wadi called... Uh, nice. Nice, yeah, that's what she said. Wadi called nice. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she loves being here. She just would love, if she could, she would live here, like in the studio. She just loves being here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I love it, love it, love it so much. I hope you too. I think we don't have to add much more because um, it is indeed pretty as it is. I'm here, Hannah. I'll be right back to you. Two seconds, Hannah. Let me... Oh, she says bunny. I thought she says mommy. <laughs> I thought she says mommy. Okay. I think the blink blink will yeah. just match as well and finish off. Mommy, she said donkey. Did she? She said donk. Nice. Hannah, she said donkey. <gasps> donkey, good girl. We are so always delighted with every new word and we're like clapping and cheering for her and she's so proud of herself she that she... Nice. Did she? Like her... Yeah. She her speech developed so much the last day too as in she understands everything but she is now repeating everything and says everything by herself which is amazing. <clears throat> Mouse. I think I heard mouse. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> she well, I guess there's three of us constantly talking to her, chatting with her in both languages. So she bound to say things, I guess, which is fabulous. Okay. <clears throat> I know that it's nothing exciting, nothing um, out of ordinary. Hannah is just every, like every other child, but it, it just makes us so very happy about her improvements and how she changes. And you know, it is just something that we enjoy very much as a family. <laughs> this little pig. <laughs> in Polish swan, elephant. No, I think I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna start adding the blink, you know, that's what I'm thinking, that. Let's see if this glue is actually working and if it is, then, then I will start adding the blink. I'm using the this thing because um, it will just help to gl to glue it down. See, see. Turtle, crocodile. Well done, Hannah. Hippo. <clears throat> this glue seems to be finishing. Crocodile is running. Wow, I love how shiny that becomes. And it is m magically finishing everything, I, 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 I believe. Look. Oops. Uh, wow. Oh, I have to add more. <laughs> Maybe those little stars now. Very hard, they're so tiny. Bird. She is such a chatter. Such a chatty box, like Emily, like me. Actually, Lucas as well. We are all bird. chatter boxes. Oh, she's saying bird for the ladybird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bug, ladybug, maybe. <laughs> chatty, chatty. This is just so gorgeous now. What a beautiful finish that is now. You know, that a nice finish of all. Crocodile. Ah, oh, she's just about this crocodile thing. Crocodile is happy, yes. And one thing she's afraid of is crocodile, spiders and dinosaurs. Yeah, okay spiders. But spiders, we're trying to tell her that spiders are nice and it's okay not to be afraid. But they found plastic spider after Halloween and she was so scared. But now we're trying to show her it's actually okay, spiders are okay. You know? <laughs> Easier said than do, isn't it? Bat, good girl.
Emily. Emily is her best teacher, let's be honest here. Oh, look at all of that. I can even add more, I think, and it would be still okay because it's a winter wonderland. So, mixed media winter wonderland um, canvas, and I think no rules applies for this kind of work. Uh, the more blink, the better. Yep, come back, come back here. Baby, baby, baby. Good girl, Hannah. Is there a baby? Is there a little baby somewhere? Mm -hmm. Hannah is a baby. <laughs> She's such a little son for us. You would think, what? How the life looked when we had only Emily, and what well, life was so easy then, <laughs> so quiet. But then you say boring, in a way. Emily says, uh, some time ago she said, I'm not sure if you remember, you said that you cannot remember life without Hannah nearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm done. I'm done with the blink and... Whoa! I love it! Winter Wonderland canvas. How absolutely gorgeous so that is. Now, do we need any title? I have my stickers and I'm thinking that maybe one of those stay creative don't have the magic dust maybe magic enjoy the silence I think it will match here because it is very silent piece I think I don't have any Christmassy kind of wintery titles here on hand so I don't think it has to be that very much uh, wintery I think this is just as perfect, you know? Enjoy the silence. It's silent peace and it's very kind of, I don't know, warm on the heart. Okay guys, that will be it. I'm back to you a few days later, even a week later, because I need to do something about this project. You know when you look at your project sometimes and you feel that something is missing and you couldn't figure out what it is. You love it and you're looking at it and it's beautiful and all, but just and then it hit me finally, white splashes. How could I forget about white splashes for this project? Maybe it's because the sequins, <laughs> I just forgot because I had those. But I just felt that all these paper embellishments, they are like something is not cohesive with the rest of the world here happening. And then I was like, yeah, white splashes. So I'm gonna add some white splashes. Either I'm gonna use my uh, Delusions uh, Opsy. That's okay. Yeah, delusions, I, it, it should be fine. So I can use that. I just felt that all of these here just needed something. And here it is, a touch of paint, a touch of white splashes, because it was just kind of not going together in a way, if you know what I mean. Even on the canvas itself, it's fine. Like, it's perfectly dry. I love it. It's such a beautiful project. But it was just something small. And look what a difference. Right. Well, at least for me, it's right away a difference that everything is... As if it's a snowy effect, you know, on all these pieces. So, sometimes it's good to walk away from the project and come back to it later on. It's not that I was feeling anything wrong about it. I just felt that... Uh, I don't know what I felt. It was just I was looking at it thinking that... Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. And then it hit me, so... <laughs> I'm glad I didn't publish the video yet. I will publish closer to to Christmas, I guess. So today is a recording day for me. I'm so excited, so excited, because I wasn't in the studio for a good few days recording. So I'm, I'm really... I miss recording, so I'm gonna record today. I have at least four videos planned. Hannah is asleep just now, two hours, hopefully she'll give me, and... Will I manage four projects in four and two hours? I don't think so, but I'll try, I'll start. I have a list because, uh, yeah, it's a list of how many? 16. I wonder how many I manage. Anyway, time to say goodbye with this video. Thank you so much. I hope you liked it and I hope you can see the difference that now everything is just blending together, cohesive and all, it's just all matching. So lovely, jovely, a bit of a blink, a little bit of a, little bit of a splash. What a difference. Thank you so much, guys. Happy crafting. See you soon. Bye-bye.